Hi, this is the tutorial video for the new JMF feature which is Portals for the JMF Pro. I have these two new scripts here which is Portal A and Portal B and they are located in the panel types in the customizables and I have already assigned them in the panel manager which is Portal A and Portal B. I've also changed the uh, piece, sorry, the panel definition to have a few more options here that like has default panel or has no skin. You can read all about it in the notes here. There's a uh, short notes about what the inspector variables are for the panels. As I was saying, uh, I already assigned the skin as well for the portal A and portal B, which is the portal world A and portal world B. And if we go to the board layout, I have already have a pre-designed portals, which is uh, this portal A. I've just assigned the texture for the board layout for swirl A and swirl B to make it clear. Now the portals, how they work, it's not idiot proof, but it is fairly easy to use. I've already assigned uh, three portals A and three portals B here and they work in a pair so uh, for example this portal A and uh, you can assign the a number to it so and when they work in a pair portal A1 will go to portal B1 and portal A2 will go to portal B2 and so forth so A3 will go to B3 you can always add a new portal which is for uh, let's just say um, I have A here you can assign it any number you like as long as it's in a pair. I can assign this 8 and then I'll have another one here B and make sure it's 8. Now I can't, there isn't any current feature to have multiple entries or multiple exits. For example, you can't have like two exits pointing to one, uh, two exits from one entry or two entries from one exit. They don't work that way at the moment but if you can customize it good luck to you so they only work in a pair so a8 will go to b8 now if i were to play so for example there's an orange here so if i get rid of this black the orange will fall and come out here the white came out the orange came out so same goes with one two three here so if i reduce this they will fall in and come out I've also made the portals at the moment the default behavior will have a landslide effect which is the is solid in the portal definition and uh, sorry in the panel definition so if I will get rid of this you see the pieces will landslide in you can change this behavior if you don't like it is in the portal script so as you can see pieces will teleport from one end to the other end I can get rid of this you can see they fall in and they come out okay so this is the portal A script the portal A script is the one that does all the work portal B is just a placeholder to define where it comes out so uh, if you want to change anything you will look into the portal A script and this is the portal A script. I have added a new function in this new JMF Pro version, which is the on game start. And I've assigned a behavior of it uh, when the game starts to find the uh, portal A and, and match the portal A with portal B. And also on the panel create, I've added the lean twin swirl effect. So if you don't, and there is a bit of a bug, not really a bug, but a visual kink or something for the lintrin rotate sometimes it sort of like lags a bit and stops and things that twitch a bit in the rotating so if you don't really like this uh, lintrin effect uh, maybe it's not perfect you can swap it out for maybe a uh, what do you call it sprite animation so yeah just to keep note and then this is the main function where everything happens where it's supposed to know where uh, whether the exit has 
empty blocks to fill up and then it will allow blocks to fall through and transport them over so this is the main function and that's about it I did not add any audio visuals to it so if you like you can just add them yourself I'm sure you can do that by now so that's concerning the portal A script one thing I would like to add is that if you use this random on start button it will generate random portals that are not uh, paired together because you have to manually pair them so if you do not want the random on start or the randomize to generate portals in the show type panel 2 you can set the random limit to be 0 so that it doesn't auto generate portals so when you random on start no portals will be created or if you really want to you can always go to the panel manager and just remove the component it will do the same thing so yeah just keep that in mind so that you don't accidentally generate portals that you do not want Thanks.